Hey everyone, Cryptics here. If you've ever felt like this before, And you thought, wow, it's really impossible to create a great thumbnail without spending a ton of money. Or so you thought. Would you believe me if I created this thumbnail without spending a single penny? You think that I would be crazy, right? But that's exactly what I did. Is we're going to go and you're able to move around your automatic to And there we go, we just made a thumbnail, it's that easy. Now before we get started, we will need a few things. You will need the Minecraft Java Launcher, preferably a client like Lunar or Bad Lion, Bed Wars Map Pack Downloads, you can find these online or on YouTube, and of course you will need GIMP, which is the editing software we will be using for today's video. Some optional things you can also use are a shader pack or a texture pack. Now, let's get into the video. The first thing you're going to need is open up your Minecraft launcher and you're going to head into your single player world. After you've done the instructions, you should find all of the Bedwars map packs in your single player um, folder. You can choose any of these for my thumbnail. I'm going to be picking um, Lighthouse. So here I am in my single player world. As you can see, I did a little bit of adjustments. But when doing this kind of style of thumbnails, you're going to need two pictures. The first picture you're going to need for Minecraft is a picture of yourself. The second picture is going to be a background picture, which will be later in the background. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a good picture of ourselves. To do this, what you're going to need to do is going to go to options and you're going to turn your FOV all the way down to 30. Now, if you do want a full body, instead of going to FOV 30, go into FOV 45. That way you can get the full body. You're going to go turn on your shader pack or texture pack. I'm just going to be using a texture pack. And then if you are going to be using Luna Client like me, you can go into the mods folder by clicking right shift and you can search up free look and make sure that is enabled. The automatic keybind should be all and when you press all, you're able to move around your camera without you actually moving which is super useful for getting angles now to get rid of the hot bar and all the other gui you're going to press function one and now to take the picture it should be automatically set to function two also do keep in mind you can use props like armor weapons but for the thumbnail that i'm going to be doing i'm just going to be holding a diamond sword but after you get that done, we are now going to go into the second picture. Try to get a good landscape photo on what you would like. Make sure to stay into F1 mode. I think I'm just going to take a picture of the lighthouse. I think something like this. There we go. I think that looks good. And there, you successfully got the two screenshots. Now we're just going to head into our photo editing software. Now, once you've installed GIMP, GIMP should look like this. Now, the first step is to get your two photos in. So how you're going to do that is you're going to go into the bottom left of your screen. Keep in mind, I'm going to be using Windows. You're going to search up percent app data. You should get this file explorer tab and you're going to go into dot Minecraft and then you click on screenshots. You should find all screenshots that you've taken here and you're just going to select the screenshot that you like. All you're gonna do is you're gonna drag it all the way onto GIMP and then just let go. And that's one picture, now you're gonna do with the background. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the layers here. This is gonna be like what's on top and what's on bottom. The background is at the very top layer, but we don't want that. We want it to be in the bottom layer because it's our background. Now, obviously we can't see the background yet because we have the background in the actual picture in the way. So that's what we're gonna get rid of first. Make sure you have your person layer selected and then you're gonna click on layer and then you click transparency and press add alpha channel. This is very, very important. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and you're gonna click on this third icon. It looks like a scissors, but most people should look like a lasso, kind of like this. If you don't see the lasso, it's the third one here. Just right click on the icon and select free select. Now that you've done that, you're gonna scissor your way through this. This is a little tedious, but it's 100% worth it because you get some very clean cuts. All you're gonna do is you're gonna select a corner of your person and you're gonna tap, just tap, and then you can see this little white line where if you drag your mouse, you're just going to cut around the edges just like so. Don't worry if you get it a little messed up, you can make adjustments later. And all you're going to do is you just make a basic outline of your character. Alright, so now that you get to the last line, what you're going to do is as soon as it turns yellow, the first corner that you did, just press select and you can see it gets a little um, outline around it. All that you're going to do is you're just going to right click, go to select, and then you're going to collect invert. After you select invert, you're gonna right click again. You're gonna do the edit this time and press clear. Once you've done that, you can see the background now and all you're gonna do is you're just gonna right click again, press select none. 
As you can see, we got our character here now. Once you're here, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna position your character. You're gonna go to this tool right here and all you're gonna do is make sure you have those certain layers selected and you could just drag it everywhere you want. If you wanna scale it, go to this tool here and you could just drag your mouse across and you could drag your mouse to increase the scale of it. If you right click that icon, you can also rotate, you can flip, you can change the perspective and more. I'm just gonna do select and I'm gonna move it towards the side. All right, so now that we've done this, I'm gonna fill in this empty space with whatever the topic is going to be about. Since this video is going to be about how to create a thumbnail, I'm gonna choose an icon of the photo editing software, GIMP, and I'm also gonna put some text. To this, all I'm gonna go is I'm gonna go on Google and find some images. All right, so I'm just gonna press Control V and there we go, I got a nice photo of it. I'm gonna scale it a little bit like that. Now I'm just gonna drag it around a little bit more to where I like it. And after you're done, you're gonna go to the bottom right and you're gonna press Select New Layer. Now to add text, you're gonna click on this A and you're just gonna select anywhere you want and you can type anything you want. I'm just gonna put tutorial. Now there's a few things you could do with this. You can bold, you can italicize, you can also change the font. I'm going to change it to grow bold, which is a font I downloaded online. You can increase the pixel size. I'm going to change it to like, let's see here. I think 250 is good. I'm also going to change the color to white. I can just drag it. I'm going to rotate it. And there we go. Technically you got your thumbnail all the way down right there. Now there's a few adjustments that you can do. I would suggest blurring the background just a little bit. I'm just gonna do a little bit of linear blur and I'm also gonna do a little bit of Gaussian blur. To make our character look nicer, I can go into colors and I can go to brightness slash contrast. And there we go. We just made a thumbnail, it's that easy. Now guys, without further ado, peace.